Okay, so it's Saturday morning and normally on a weekend I would expect to wake up late, maybe have some waffles or pancakes for breakfast, but instead I've been dragged out of my apartment way too early to eat oxbone soup. In the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on? Okay. One of the nicest things about this restaurant here is that it has the heated floors, which in Korean is called ondo. So, I mean, we were walking around in the sub zero temperatures, now we're warming up our butts on the ground. So what's had arrived at our table is called Solong Tang and it is an ox bone soup with brisket. And this is what it looks like. It's got a kind of a murky white color. Yum yum. Give it a stir, see if we can. Yeah, you can see that it's got noodles. Ooh, and then it's that got looks nice. Here's the brisket. So this soup comes with rice, as you can see, and we also have some veggies and kimchi that I suppose we can add to our soup. Kimchi in a jar. I think this is what we add to our soup with different kinds of onions. And then what's this one? Oh, more of the radish kimchi. Okay. <laughs> Chopping up the kimchi. That's how it's done. There we go. Mm, doesn't that look good? Mm, it sure does. Time for the first bite. Okay, let's try the broth first. Mm. I can't say it's very flavorful. No? It's like water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Let's add more things to it. Okay. <laughs> so we just found the salt. Hopefully it'll make this will make the soup a little less bland. So let's add a little. Dun -dun. Can you add some more? Dun -dun. Maybe. It's really bland. All right, and let's see what this has done. Let's give it a stir and try a bite of the broth. Okay, let's see. Experimenting here. <laughs> mm, that's better, but it needs more. <laughs> Lots more. A lot more? So we found even more seasonings here. We've got some pepper. We attempt to, you know, really spice things up a little, add a little zest. Mm. Give it a stir. Let's try that now. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so I am trying the brisket here. How does it taste? Nice and tender. This, you know, it's real nice cut of meat. Not, not fatty at all. So after doing a little bit of research on this dish on Wikipedia, I read that often rice can be added into the solon kong. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my bowl of rice and plop it right in. Mm. It's definitely gonna thicken things up here. Let's try that. Not too bad. I'm just going to try the noodles. And how are those? They're really tender, really soft. Really soft? Yes. That's cool. 
so the verdict. I can't say I would eat the soup again. I really wanted to like it, but it was just too bland. It's white rice, just plain noodles, and a white murky broth. There's no spice. So I prefer the heijangguk or the taktori tang. Or sundibujige. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you think of the soup? Well, I have to agree with you on this. It wasn't my favorite. I did finish it, but what I like in a soup, I do like, there's just so many spicy and flavorful Korean soups. One of the ones that I love, some of the ones that you mentioned, but also Sindubujigi, Kimchi Jigi. There's so many, yeah, just didn't quite hit the spot. But, you know, it was, it was okay. Ha <laughs> ha